Carl Ferrando, uh, if I can ask, why does your voice sound that way? Throw cancer. You smoker? Huh? Just lucky, I guess. This breeds like a fucking yeast infection. Every time an order is questioned, every time dissension is allowed to state its case, there's a corresponding decrease in overall morale. I can't have people questioning the orders of a superior officer. And if you have a performance complaint regarding subordinates, that has to go through the proper channels. Back channel grumbling is unacceptable, gentlemen. Unacceptable. Now I know some people aren't happy about the pell-mell assault on that airfield. And I admit it was rash, even reckless. But General Mattis had to have our eyes on that airfield. And your recon teams failed in the time allotted. This war isn't going well for us. Resistance in the cities is greater than expected. And the general feels we're killing far too many civilians. Godfather thinks we're gonna go back into these cities we bypassed and root out the bad guys. The Iraqis are on the fence about this war. They're only gonna bet on the horse they think can win. Sir, any expectation of resupply? Zero. Unbeknownst to me, when I gave the order to abandon that supply truck, our battalion colors were on it. Gentlemen, the loss of those colors is one of the most regrettable incidents of my entire career. And Ferrando takes full responsibility for it. But you should be aware that the loss of those colors will be more than offset by the battle streamers we will earn in this war. And we will earn them. That I know. For I don't believe in the violence of action. The enemy. He stared us down in Nazareth. But I wanted to show him today. Some Americans won't back down from a fight. I could put it in terms of tactics or strategy. I could quote Boyd. The simple way to say it is that some people might reasonably fear. These Iraqis running around trying to organize ways to kill us. I don't. And not because I'm a particularly courageous individual. I simply have a bigger fear. In my darkest hours, I sometimes fear that I will do something General Mattis won't like. Gentlemen, I have no such fears tonight. What the fuck is going on? Sir, Bravo 2 in Rebellion, because they think they shot an Iraqi child. You're requesting that I send this wounded civilian to the RCT for aid? Problem. Our tactical situation is extremely precarious here. These are the northernmost Marines' positions. And we are 30 clicks north of them. We are far behind enemy lines. We have incomplete intel as to the disposition of the Iraqi units, here, here, and here. 
We don't even know what happened to the 4,000 troops that were at this airfield six hours ago. And there's only 350 of us. What can be done? Option one, Casavac by helicopter doesn't exist. Army, Marines are engaged, taking casualties. Last night, the Iraqis stopped the Army advance. They turned back 36 Apache helicopters. Shot a few down. Option two. I detach a platoon and have them drive 30 clicks through enemy lines to the shock trauma unit here. If any of you were a casualty right now, I don't think I could cast a vacuum. But supposing I could, I imagine there are some of you think we have to give wounded civilians every consideration we would give ourselves. That is not true. The ROE say we have to give them the same medical care they would get by local standards. The standards here are fucking zero. It's a shitty situation for us. But nobody put a gun to our heads and forced us to come here. We're all volunteers. Give me Kevin Patterson. Yes, sir. Assassin Actual is Godfather 5. Godfather 5, this is Assassin Actual. Send traffic. The actual in the net over. Standing by. I'm dispatching an alpha platoon. Take this child to the shock trauma unit. Regiment seized the main bridge over the Tigris River in Alcut. As you know, I just returned from a meeting with General Mattis. What you don't know is that shortly after Dowdy led his regiment into Alcut, General Mattis relieved him of his command. And gentlemen, Colonel Dowdy was also relieved of the ammo for his sidearm. Colonel Dowdy is a good man, but he did not fully embrace maneuver warfare. And lest we forget, maneuver warfare is America's warfare for the 21st century. It is all about the violence of action. With first recon at the tip of the spear, 7,000 Marines have just completed the Corps' longest march since the Barbary campaign against Tripoli in 1803. Actually, some of you are riding in the same Humvees they used. <laughs> Through our use of maneuver, we have tied down many times our number of the enemy's force, opening the door for the army to invade the enemy capital from the west. Sir, does this mean it's the end of our mission? Unknown, but First Marine Division is positioning itself on the outskirts of Baghdad for the assault, and we will be there. Rest assured, Godfather will find a mission for this battalion. But what I want to leave you with today is this. Colonel Dowdy did succeed this morning. He did lead his men into al -Qud. But General Mattis has a long memory. He did not forget that at critical moments, Daddy hesitated to execute orders. And gentlemen, Ferrando has a long memory too. Can you help this man? I'll search him, sir.
because of this dying motherfucker and his dead friends who are eight hours behind schedule. <laughs>